Good day viewers and thank you most sincerely for tuning into Polymer Update TV, the world's first TV network with a free petrochemicals news show. You are watching the Petrochemical Market Synopsis with me, Bradley Thompson. It is Tuesday, July 11th. Let's start with energy and feedstock news. Crude oil prices inched lower on Monday as a series of economic data emerging from China indicated that the world's second-largest economy and a top global crude oil consumer was on the brink of deflation. Brent crude prices fell by 0.78 cents settling at $77.69 per barrel while WTI futures decreased by 0.87 cents settling at $72.99 per barrel. On Monday, open spec naphtha prices gained by $14 per metric ton at $566 per metric ton CFR Far East Asia levels. On Monday, styrene monomer prices drifted lower in Europe on account of bearish buying sentiments and plentiful regional product availability. FOB Rotterdam SM prices were assessed at the $1,000 to $1,010 per metric ton levels a fall of $5 per metric ton from last Friday's assessed levels. Ethylene and propylene prices quoted stable in Asia on Monday. Ethylene and propylene prices were assessed steady in Europe on Monday. Ethylene prices edged higher while propylene prices quoted flat in the United States on Monday. If you like our video, don't forget to subscribe to our free news channel and like this video by giving us a thumbs up. It motivates us to continue to bring you our free news service on a daily basis. Back to news now, let's take a look at futures on China Dalian Commodity Exchange for today. On July 11, 2023, LLDPE prices are lower by RMB 4 per metric ton at RMB 79.77 per metric ton. PP prices are stable at RMB 71.26 per metric ton. PVC prices are higher by RMB 10 per metric ton at RMB 5880 per metric ton. MEG prices are down by RMB 9 per metric ton at RMB 4030 per metric ton. In plant news, Qingdao Jinning has shut its propane dehydrogenation plant on July 8, 2023 for maintenance. Further details on the duration of the shutdown could not be ascertained. Located at Shandong in China, the plant has propylene production capacity of 900,000 metric ton per year. Our special newsreel today is sponsored by Naira Energy, an Indo-Russian oil refining and marketing company that owns and operates Vadner Refinery located at Vadner, Gujarat, India with a capacity of 20 mmTPA. It owns India's second-largest single-site, state-of-the-art refinery and one of the most modern and complex refineries in the country having businesses across the hydrocarbon value chain, from refining to retail, and is geared up to drive the vision of delivering crude to chemicals. That's all for today. Don't forget to watch our daily news video tomorrow to know more. This is Polymer Update, with me, Bradley Thompson from Polymer Update Virtual World. Many thanks for watching.